in this figure you can see a triangle abc and there is a circle which is touching all the three sides of this triangle abc at a unique point see here the side ab we have a point of contact p with the circle the side bc we have a point of contact q and side ac has a point of contact r so this circle which touches the three sides of a triangle this is called in circle now what is in center and how we can draw this circle when a given triangle with given measurements has been provided to you now to understand this first of all we should know that in a triangle whenever we draw the angle bisectors so this is angle b now if you draw the angle bisector of this angle now this is the angle bisector of angle b similarly when you draw the angle bisector of angle c this is the angle bisector of angle c the point where the two angle bisectors meet each other this point is called the in center of the triangle so i have labeled this point as i this is the point of intersection of the angle bisectors of two angles and if you draw the angle bisector of the third angle also then this will automatically intersect the two other angle bisectors at this point i itself so all the three angle bisectors of angles of a triangle are concurrent means they pass through the same point and this point is known as in center so this point i we call this point i as in center this circle is known as in circle another property of this in center now whenever you draw a perpendicular from this i to any side of the triangle say i am drawing this perpendicular now now this is a perpendicular drawn from i on bc i will call this point as d so this perpendicular distance is same whether i draw the perpendicular on bc or on ab or on ac so all the three perpendiculars ie and if so id ie if all the three perpendiculars are actually equal so we can draw a circle with i as center and any of these three as radius so if you draw a circle now this circle will automatically form the in circle of this triangle so i hope this has provided you an understanding of what in circle is and how we draw the in circle of a triangle now once you have understood what is in circle what is in center these three id ie or if these are called in radius so in circle circle touching all the three sides of the triangle in center the point of intersection of the angle bisectors and in radius the radius of this in circle is called in radius now after after having understood what 
is a in circle what is in center and what is in radius we need to know the formula for finding the radius of this in circle if we are given the three sides of this triangle so if you know the three sides of the triangle you can find the in radius suppose the sides of triangle are a comma b and c so if the sides of the triangle are a b and c then the semi perimeter that is the half of the perimeter of the triangle will be given by a plus b plus c this is the perimeter and we divide this by 2 so we get the semi perimeter so once you know the semi perimeter and the area of this triangle we can find out the in radius that is the radius of the in circle radius of in circle r is given by just divide the area of triangle by the semi perimeter of the triangle you get the value of the in radius a very very important concept for competitive exams the formula for finding the radius of in circle is the ratio of the area of the triangle to the semi perimeter of the triangle three very important concepts we have discussed in this video one is what is an in circle second the in center how we obtain the in center we draw the angle bisectors and the point of concurrence of the three angle bisectors will give you the in center third the distance of in center from any side that is the perpendicular distance this is called in radius and if you find the area of triangle and the semi perimeter of triangle then you can find this in radius that is the radius of the in circle using the formula area of triangle upon semi perimeter of triangle competitive exams this is the concept of circum circle and circum center now often Uh, questions are asked based on this important concept and as you see here i have drawn a circle in which i have inscribed a triangle whose the vertices a b and c they lie on the circumference of the circle so triangle is inside and the circle is outside so this circle which touches all the three vertices of triangle abc is called circum circle now let us see how we can draw this construct this and understand what is the meaning of circum center and circum radius so if we have a triangle a given triangle abc and we need to construct the circum circle of this triangle abc so what we do is we draw the perpendicular bisectors of any two sides see if we draw the bisector of bc suppose this is the bisector of bc the perpendicular bisector of bc similarly if you draw perpendicular bisector of any other side say ab or ac so say ab Now this is the perpendicular bisector of AB. So the point where these two perpendicular bisectors are intersecting, this point will be common for the third bisector also. So if I draw the perpendicular bisector of AC, this third perpendicular bisector will automatically pass through this. point so all the three perpendicular bisectors of the sides of this triangle are concurrent so this point of intersection of the three sides perpendicular bisectors of the sides this point o is called 
सर्कम सेंटर नो वाई दिस इज कॉल्ड सर्कम सेंटर बिकॉज दिस बिकम्स द सेंटर ऑफ द सर्कम सर्कल सो नाउ दिस पॉइंट ओ विल बी इक्वी डिस्टेंट फ्रॉम ए बी एंड सी सो इफ यू जॉइन ओ ए ओ बी और ओ सी दीज थ्री लेंथ विल बी इक्वल सो ओ ए ओ बी एंड ओ सी दीज थ्री लेंथ आर इक्वल एंड दिस लेंथ ओ ए ओ बी और ओ सी दिस इज कॉल्ड सर्कम रेडियस विच इज डिनोटेड बाई कैपिटल आर इफ यू टेक ओ एज द सेंटर एंड ओ ए ओ बी और ओ सी एज द रेडियस यू कैन ड्रॉ ए सर्कल विच पास थ्रू द थ्री पॉइंट ए बी एंड सी समथिंग लाइक दिस दिस सर्कल विल ऑटोमेटिकली पास थ्रू ए बी एंड सी एंड ओ विल बी द सेंटर ऑफ दिस सर्कल सो सर्कम सर्कल विच टच एज द थ्री वर्टिस सर्कम सेंटर the point of intersection of the three perpendicular bisectors of the sides of the triangle and circum radius this point circum center its distance from a b or c so o a o b o c these three are circum radius and with o as center you can draw the circum circle final thing which we need to know in this important concept is how we can find the value of this circum radius so value of oa ob or oc that is the circum radius can be found out if you can find the area of this triangle so if we assume the three sides of this triangle as small a small b any any three sides you can assume i am assuming the three sides as a b and c these are the length of the three sides so you can find out the circum radius of this cir circum circle by using the relation the product of sides that is a b c the product of the three sides divided by four times the area of triangle so if you can find the area of the triangle then you can easily put area of triangle and the value of the three sides in this formula to get the value of the radius of circum circle so very important concept for competitive exams and all these concepts that is what is a circum center circum center is the point of intersection of you will be given options out of that you have to choose the right answer as perpendicular bisectors of the three sides of the triangle and the value of circum radius that is found out by taking the product of the three sides upon four times the area of the triangle now for understanding centroid we need to first understand the meaning of a median whenever you have any triangle say triangle abc if you take the midpoint of any side say i am taking the midpoint of bc this is the midpoint of bc d so bd and dc are equal and i join this d with the opposite vertex a so this line joining any vertex of the triangle with the midpoint of opposite side this line is known as median so ad is the median similarly you can draw two more medians say if we join b with the midpoint of ac now uh, e is the midpoint of ac so these two are equal and i join e with b then this be is also the median and interestingly enough if you draw the third median it will also pass through this point which is the point of intersection of these two medians so if you take the midpoint f of ab and join it with c then this point will be common for all the three medians so i call this point as p 
so third median is cf all the three points all the three medians are passing through the point p this point p is known as centroid so now you know what is a centroid centroid is actually the point where the three medians of a triangle intersect each other so point of concurrence it is known as the point of concurrence of three medians so after having understood what a centroid is what is uh, the point p we need to know one very important property of centroid and that property is that centroid now this is a very important property many questions are based on this important property of centroid centroid that is the point p divides each median in the ratio 2 ratio 1 so all the three medians are divided in the ratio 2 ratio 1 by this point p which is known as centroid so if you see ap is longer and pd is shorter so if you write pd as 1 then ap will be 2 so 2 ratio 1 similarly bp and pe if you consider pe as 1 then this bp will be 2 double of pe similarly if pf is 1 then cp will be 2 so all the three medians are divided by the centroid in a constant ratio that is 2 ratio 1 so this is all about centroid now to understand what ortho center is you need to know an important term which is the altitude very easy altitude of a triangle now suppose we draw any triangle abc and from any vertex you draw a perpendicular on the opposite side so i draw a perpendicular from a This is AD. So AD is the altitude. So likewise, I can draw two more altitudes, one from B and one from C. So if I try and draw the altitude from B, it will be like this. BE. And this is the point where the two altitudes are intersecting. Now, if I draw the third altitude, that altitude will also pass through the same point of intersection of the previous two altitudes so from c if you draw a perpendicular this perpendicular cf will also be known as the altitude and all the three altitudes of this triangle or for that matter any triangle will pass through a point say i call this point as m so this point m is known as ortho center so ortho center is actually the point of concurrence of point of concurrence means where two or more lines intersect that is called point of concurrence so point of concurrence of the three altitudes is actually called the ortho center so very important concepts used in geometry used in competitive exams and students at the basic level of class 6th 7th 8th they study these concepts when they first time they start they are studying the properties of triangles so learn these concepts and remember medians constitute centroid and altitudes constitutes ortho center for more videos you can watch the subsequent videos which i am going to post in the series of videos on geometry till then keep sharing and subscribe the channel if you like it